we are arriving at an incredibly exciting point in the overall history of astrophysics where we have these incredibly rich data sets um, and they allow us to explore a variety of deep questions. And some of these are very basic questions like what is the universe? Uh, and some of these are very advanced technical questions like how exactly do stars form and evolve and um, what, what happens to stars at the ends of their lives. One of the purposes of CETA is to give power to the brilliant young people that come through its doors in Toronto and throughout all of Canada. And as its director, I view my role as nurturing and fostering that curiosity and that creativity um, and really unleashing it on any question they wish to tackle. But I think there's a broader role for training in theoretical physics. Uh, and that broader role is just this very powerful toolkit that we are equipping people with. Uh, to this toolkit is a series, it's, it's, it's both a, an arsenal of methods as well as an approach to the physical world. And I think that is incredibly useful, not just in physics uh, and in astrophysics where you might, you might not think that, the, uh, that it's important to understand exactly how the Milky Way formed, but the same methods that allow us to understand how the Milky Way formed also allow us to track disease across the world and to understand uh, and to understand other aspects of, uh, of our day-to-day -day life. I think it's so critical to build our community, particularly now after the year that we've had. So we all feel like we are at a crossroads and uh, sky is the limit and I am just ready to go and ready, just chomping at the bit to get started, to uh, become a part of this community to, to, to get everybody together and to build together uh, to really understand what everyone has been going through uh, this last period, to understand what their ambitions and dreams and hopes are for them personally and scientifically, and to unleash it 